Okay. There he and goes. And there's thousands of people outside Buckingham Palace, by the way. Loads of people. Hey, All the way down live. And the street is massive. Live coverage on Gordon um, Brown. Traffic stopped. Prime Gordon, Minister. Go past. And he's going down the straight road. Now, this should take him about three minutes to get down to the down on the street house. Oh, it's exciting stuff. And officially now, he's, he's actually Prime Minister, Amy. I know. Gordon Brown, Prime Minister of England and Northern Ireland. Um, Gordon Brown's coming down back to his home now, his official home. It's exciting stuff. You've opened the gates. I haven't. For Gordon Brown <laughs> down the street. I am a little bit behind with that, really. Like, I'm just watching them driving down. In one direction and uh, it's a clear path for them now. It's BBC they News 24. Clear path. The old agriculture building, the Scottish office as it was, Dover House. Horse Guards Arch, and down onto the other section of Whitehall, past the Welsh office, and to turn right into Downing Street any moment. Here he goes. Gordon Brown's first entry as Prime Minister into Downing Street. Gordon Brown <laughs> enters Downing Street. There we go. As Britain's new Prime Minister. Should we see if Carl Luck's got anything to say? Stop, Gordon Brown is. There he goes. He's not getting out yet. <laughs> He's out. He's coming out. It is Gordon Brown's officially Prime Minister of the UK. He's getting his wife out of the car now and down That's the street. That's nice of him. In case he's still alive. Oh. He's going to make a speech mouth, by the way, Amy, so go to BBC News. I have just accepted the invitation of Her Majesty the Queen to form a government. This will be a new government with new priorities. And I have been privileged to have been granted the great opportunity to serve my country. And at all times, I will be strong in purpose, steadfast in will, resolute in action, in the service of what matters to the British people, meeting the concerns and aspirations of our whole country. I grew up in the town that I now represent in Parliament. I went to the local school. I wouldn't be standing here without the opportunities that I received there. And I want the best of chances for everyone. That is my mission, that if we can fulfill the potential and realize the talents of all our people, then I am absolutely sure that Britain can be the great global success story of this century. As I have travelled round the country, and as I have listened and I've learned from the British people, and as Prime Minister I will continue to listen and learn from the British people, I've heard the need for change. Change in our NHS, change in our schools, change with affordable housing, change to build trust in government, change to protect and extend the British way of life. And this need for change cannot be met by the old politics. So I will reach out beyond narrow party interest. I will build a government that uses all the talents. I will invite men and women of goodwill to contribute their energies in a new spirit of public service to make our nation what it can be. And I am convinced that there is no weakness in Britain today that cannot be overcome by the strength of the British people.